Good day everyone. Once again, this is Teacher Grace, your online math teacher. So today, I am going to discuss this topic, finding the missing term in a pair of equivalent ratios. Alright, so let's say 5 over 7 is equal to 10 over blank. Okay, paano natin itong isosolve, ano? So, lagyan natin ito ng n. So, pwede mag-cross multiply tayo, no? Ayan. So, 5 times n is equal to 5 n. Equal 7 times 10 is equal to 70. Then, afterwards, kailangan natin ma-cancel si n dito. Kaya, i-divide natin both side by 5 divide natin. So, eto magiging cancel ito kasi 5 divided by 5 is 1. So, cancel na yan. Then, afterwards, just write n and then 70 divided by 5 is equal to 14. Okay. So, therefore, yung ating missing number ay Okay, palitan na natin to no? 14. Ayan. Another given. Ten over fifteen is equal to blank over three. Okay, so yung procedure natin, pwede ulit tayong mag-cross multiply, ha, no? So, ganun lang din uli. So, lagyan natin ito ng n. So, 10 times 3 is equal to 30. And then, 15 times n is equal to 15 n. Then, afterwards, divide natin both side no, into 15. Okay, so, ito, cancel to. So, 30 divided by 15 is 2. And then, yung n, rewrite lang natin. Therefore, yung missing number natin dito ay 2. Okay. Pero, kung gusto mo siyang i-oral or mabilis na sagutan, may technique din naman. So, let's say 3 over 5 is equal to N, N over 25. So, ang technique lang dyan, ganito lang. So, 25 divided by 5 is 5, right? So, that means, kaya nakuha itong 25 na to, minultiply lang siya. Itong 5, okay, 5. So, 5 times 5 equals 25. So, that means, itong nasa taas, dapat sa 5 din siya i-multiply. 3 times 5 is equal to 15. So, therefore, yung missing number natin ay 15. So, kahit hindi ka mag-cross multiply, makukuha rin yung sagot. Another, paano kung naka-colon form siya? 8 o, oh, ay, colon nga pala, no? Titin natin, ha? 8 is to 4 is equal to 2 is to blank. So, pwede natin i-apply dito yung multiplying uh, the extremes and then the means. Pwede yun. So, let's say itong means muna, no? 4 times 2 is 8. Tapos ito, so, lagyan natin ito ng n, ha? 8 times n is 8n. So, sulat natin dito, no? 8. So, 8n. So, 8 n is equal to 8. So, kailangan ma-cancel natin si 8 dito by dividing both side by 8. So, cancel yan. So, n equals 8 divided by 8. Ayan, 1. Then, the answer is 1. Okay, another given. 2 is to 5 is equal to 
black stove 50 so ganun uli yung process no multiply mo yung extremes 50 times 2 times 50 is 100 and then eto lagi natin ng n ano? 5 times n is 5n okay so so 50 times 2 is ay 100 hindi natin na lagi ng add addition na zero no so 100 equals so yung 5n rewrite natin and then divide natin both side by 5 cancel ito so write natin n equals 100 divided by 5 so 20 therefore ang missing number natin ay 20 so that's that's all for now thank you for watching